there, oh, George. Yeah, come over here and hang with us. The kitchen. Oh, Y'all are kitchen. talking rant. So Jason come on Michael over, Thomas. George. Hang with Jason Michael Thomas. Hey, We're hey, hey. talking wild leaks, man. Wild forage stuff. One of the big parts of what I do is foraging, foraging farming. And cooking, of course. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the wild leak, I'm telling you. Morel season is here. Mm -hmm. Well, morels, we got about a month, right? And okay. it's very early for ramp season. Ramp season. But it's these are the small ones, and they get much, much bigger. And I went out to the forest. I was happy to see them. I figured they'd be there. They're, when you know they're going to be up is typically when you see your tulips starting to pop up in your yard. Okay. It's, it's okay. almost the exact same timing. So I wanted to show people it's mm -hmm. very important to harvest ramps sustainably. So it's a really important thing, and I think ramps are really growing in popularity, although I've been talking to them for like, <laughs> talking yeah. about for like five, ten years, something <laughs> yeah. like that. But when you harvest them, you want to cut so that the root bulb stays in the ground. Okay. And then guess what happens? They come back next it year. It goes back next yeah. year, no problem, right? So you can use scissors, people use a trowel or whatever. I'm just going to use scissors because they're here right now. And you just snip it under the surface a little bit, and then you've got what you have left is this. And then you need to wash them really. You see the dirt in there? Right. Mm -hmm. The dirt gets in there like, like other leaks, in right. fact. I mean, you've got to wash leaks really well when you prep. But basically, you know, if you get them under the faucet and rinse them really well, mm -hmm. you start ending up with something that looks like this. And you know the ramps, I mean, these are, these are American ramps. I mean, in Europe, they have a slightly different version that has a different Latin name. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you've got the red and you've got the white at the very bottom. And, and it's, it's somewhere between a, uh, an onion and garlic. Okay. But it really really is a special flavor. So we're just going to uh, harvest these, or we're going to just cook these up real fast. And these are a little bit wet, so I'm going to dry them off a little bit so I don't splatter everything in the pan here. And then while you're doing that, man, what do you think is making these more popular these days? Just people are starting to, to know that they exist, mm, honestly. Okay. Most people say, ramps? What, what is, is that? that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I have that a lot with the food that I serve at my private dinners because we do a lot of forged foods. I promise people when they book a dinner with me, they're going to eat things they've never had before, for yeah. sure. An educational experience. Yes, it's definitely part class, part feast, for sure. And then we talk all about the farm. That, you know, we've got a farm, two-thirds of an acre, and we talk about all the things we're currently growing at the Man. farm. I mean, we, we still have things growing in the middle of winter. People are often surprised. You get a nice hot pan. So what are we putting in here along with the ramps? Well, actually, that's one of my secret ingredients. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, can't, so can't I, talk about it. I can divulge that. <laughs> but then you'd have to kill us. I'd have yes. to kill yeah. you guys. But that is, that is actually quite simply smoked lard, basically. Oh, okay. so, lard. So here we go. So now you see how these are puffing up? That's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. That's why we call them blistering. Oh. Right? So it's, it's actually inflating while it's in the pan. So we're blistering these, get them a nice hot pan. That's literally all it takes to make them so delicious. And we're going to serve them alongside. You see them puffing up? Mm -hmm. There you go. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, yeah. And it takes, you know, a couple minutes in a really hot pan. But the flavor is out of this world. It's something you can only get in the springtime. Mm -hmm. Ramp season's only about, I don't know, a month, a month and a half tops. And yeah, it's just so delicious. So we feel like that smoked lard adds to it. <laughs> it definitely. And we're serving it with smoked uh, lamb. So, uh -huh. oh so, yeah, yeah. That helps. this is smoked <laughs> pork fat. But you know, if you're gonna throw bacon in anything, mm -hmm. you know. Anybody want to taste one of these? I do. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it right here, George. It took a lot of convincing just yeah. now yeah. to get you. So that one, you can just go ahead and take that. It might be hot. Careful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Right? Is that mm -hmm. a, 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 unique, a unique flavor? You want one, Randall? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Give some right, right mouth reviews. Yeah. I don't want to compare apples and oranges, but it, it reminds me a little bit of right. um, of when you saute spinach. Oh. Interesting, right? But yeah. with all that oniony goodness, yeah. and it, it's it's such a unique flavor. It's mm -hmm. something that everybody needs to try. I like that. So I will have these for sale at the farmers markets, guys. If you're interested, you can pre-order them on my website, mm -hmm. and we'll get them going. Do, now, do you eat these in a small quantity? or Because I could almost see eating a big, giant pile of those. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, if you have a good spot to forage them, okay. you can eat as many as you want. I okay. tend to, you know, this, this amount... You know, three or four on a plate with a lamb chop. If you're yeah, doing, I was thinking if you're you doing like, as a side. Yeah, yeah well, okay. it's a it's a gastronomical experience. But you know, one little lamb chop and some nice of these. But yeah, we've we've uh, we've got fields of them in oh, Indiana, awesome. you, and you need to forage them sustainably. So please don't pull them up by the roots. You know, gotcha. snip them off and then bring them home. You All know? right.